All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to upload this video to YouTube. So um, I'm in YouTube, and if you take see this little upload button, be on your YouTube channel, of course, you see this little upload button, click it, and then it will take you to this screen to upload your video. So you can do it a couple ways. You can uh, select it that way, but it's just easier to drag and drop. All right, so that's what we're going to do now. So we'll just drag on this final video we'll go upload then once it's uploading you can uh, do a few things so it's always good to title your video um it's always good to do a little seo research before you upload it and so i'll just go ahead and put a little um holder title in here i might change it later depending upon if i find any good keywords so this is um final cut i think it's 10.13 how to fix a jump cut all right so put the title in here you can put a total of 100 characters in your title you want to put a description so i'll just put a url to the website which is always good to do all right You notice a few things here uh, is when it's uploading it will give you a URL for the video even if you're not done entering all your information what I like to do is I will schedule this video usually I schedule it for Monday so I'll the second at 8 a.m. all right so that gives you a little bit of time to finesse your video so then if you enter your description, you want to enter some keywords, all right? So this helps with your SEO optimization. So like I said, I'm just kind of winging it right now. I might go back in and finesse it. All right, so I'll just put a few tags in there, all right? So then once that's done, um, we can hit Save Changes. Now let's scroll down here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into annotations and instead of creating an annotation, I'm going to create an end screen because annotations don't work on mobile and a good amount of our viewers look at our tutorials and your viewers will look at tutorials on their mobile device. So let's go to our end screen tool. And once this loads up, it's going to go to the end of it's going to approximate sort of the end of the video and that's what this little marker indicates here. So that's our end screen and then this is where we're going to add our different call to action videos all right so we're going to move this right to the end try to get it to as close to the first frame as possible it's probably right about there all right now what we're going to do is we're going to add our elements all right now elements are just different actions that you want uh your viewers to do at the end of your video all right so we're going to click on there and we're going to um add a subscribe all right and we're going to put this right here i might go in and change these also so i'm going to go to create and we'll put most recent upload here no we'll put choose from playlist or video all right and i will add this one because this is a final cut pro tutorial that we recently created so i'll go create element now it will put a little thumbnail on your end card there all right so we'll put that there and let's add one more element. All right, we'll choose from playlist. Then the Final Cut Pro tutorial here. And we'll add that here. All right, so now what will happen is when this video hits its end, you will have a few actions. You'll be able to click on any of these tutorials. You can also subscribe just by clicking, easily clicking on there. All right, there are a few other elements you can add. You can add a playlist, you can add a channel so you can promote another channel, and then you can also link to a website that is pre-approved on YouTube. So those are some other elements that you can add, all right? So, but for now, we'll just stick to these th three things. And that is it, all right? So that's how to upload a video to YouTube and also how to add a end screen or add elements on your end screen. Let's go ahead and watch it now. And it plays for 10 seconds all right and then we can save it 
and it is as easy as that. Now, once the video is published, it will you people will be able to watch the tutorial, and I'll also be able to click on this end screen and take additional actions. All right, so that's a money channel. If you have any questions, though, go ahead and. Ask us at Ask at Web Video Chefs or in the comment section below. You can always email us at Ask at Web Video Chefs or subscribe to our e newsletter on our website at webvideochefs.com. You can also go ahead and like this video now. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.